Hi folks, in this video we are going to talk about Nimbula Director's integration with Cloud Foundry. Briefly introducing, Nimbula Director is a software that manages your cloud. It can burst into public cloud and can connect geographically distributed sites. Some of the key features include self-service, security, networking, storage, and a dynamic permissioning system. More info can be found at nimbula.com. Cloud Foundry is an open platform as a service. It supports multiple frameworks, clouds, and application services. More info can be found at cloudfoundry.com. The first part of this demo, we are going to see how easy it is for a cloud provider to set up Cloud Foundry on Nimbula Director. Cloud Foundry can be set up via a RESTful API. In this case, we are going to use the CLI. Platform as a service can simply be set up by providing the name and shape for the service. But as a cloud provider, you may want to specify additional parameters like number of DEAs you would want and a bunch of auto-scaling parameters. In the latter part of this demo, I'm going to go through each of these auto-scaling parameters, but for now, let's just launch the service. We are watching for the service state and the service is right now in starting state. The Cloud Foundry service has finished launching. The API is mentioned to be as at 10.33 to 18. And there are two DEAs which we specified as part of our launch. And the rest are statistics that currently there are no users in the system and the percent load is at zero. Now, Coke and Pepsi being two customers for this service provider, they are going to each use this PaaS platform to launch apps. Now, as customer Coke, we are trying to utilize the platform. You're going to push a simple hello world app. The app is up and running. And as Pepsi, we are going to launch another app. Yep, there we are. We have the Pepsi application is also running. We will switch back to the service providers view. The statistics have gone up. The total number of users in the system show as two. The application count is 2 and the load in the system is 20%. In the next part of this demo, we are going to see how Nimbula Director is monitoring Cloud Foundry services and the nodes itself. The API is running at 10.33.2.18. We are going to log into the API and randomly kill a service. And we are going to see how Nimbula Director is resilient and will automatically bring back up the service. Router in Cloud Foundry is the service which routes all requests. So what we are going to do is kill this router daemon. Go can no longer access its application because we have killed the router. and even Pepsi can't access its application. But we restarted the router and the application is back up again. So is Coke's. And we can check on the API and router is running back again. We will also demonstrate how Nimbula Director provides HA when one of the Cloud Foundry node dies. For this, I will log into the Nibula Director UI and I'm going to kill one of the instances. Now I'll switch back to the terminal. The nodes has died and you can see the number of DAs have gone back to one. As you can see on the screen, we have provided HA and relaunched the DEA and now Cloud Foundry service is back to operation. In the next part of this demo, we are going to demonstrate auto scaling how Nimbula Director both scales up and scales down your Cloud Foundry based on load. When we had launched Cloud Foundry, we had specified auto scale parameters. MinDEA specifies what is absolute minimum number of DEAs your service would need. MaxDEA specifies what is the maximum number of DEAs you can scale up to. The rest two parameters specifies the thresholds for scaling up and scaling down. Load is at 20. Now as Coke and Pepsi, we are going to increase the number of instances for our app and increase the load.
So as Coke and Pepsi, we have increased our instances to 4. Percent load has gone above 50. This is an indication and we are going to auto scale. A thing to note over here would be the number of DEAs that would go up by 1 since the load in the system has gone up. We have scaled the DEAs and we have brought the percent load back to below 50. Now we will demonstrate how we scale back. So as Pepsi and Coke, we are going to decrease the number of instances we are running. I'm going to switch back to the service providers view. We have scaled back on the number of DEAs and percent load in the system has fallen to 10. That's how we scale up and scale down. A thing to note here would be even though the percent load has gone below 25, we have not scaled below 2 as that is the minimum number of DAs we had requested when we launched the service. In the next part of this demo, we are going to demonstrate how Nimbula Director provides security and isolation for multiple Cloud Foundry setups. So our two customers, Coke and Pepsi, think Swisscom has provided us a great PaaS platform, but we need our own PaaS platforms for development or they might just not trust each other. So Coke can simply launch its own PaaS platform by just specifying the shape and the external URI it might want. Pepsi will do the same. In the service provider's view, there are three Cloud Foundry instances running. Both Coke and Pepsi have their Cloud Foundry instances running, both having a different API endpoint. Namely, Coke has 1033.230 and Pepsi has 1033.238. Coke can't even ping Pepsi's endpoint, whereas Coke can ping its own API endpoint. Coke is going to push the same Hello World instance to its own Cloud Foundry. Coke now has two instances of its app running, one in its own development Cloud Foundry and one in the service provider's Cloud Foundry, which was Swisscom. We just demonstrated Cloud Foundry's integration on Nimbula Director. Watch out for more exciting stuff from Nimbula. Thanks.